Namaste. In this video, I will tell you how to make a crank length mechanism in solder box. So to do that, first of all, I am going to draw a base in which my adjusted crank mechanism will gonna fit. So the radius uh, it's gonna be um, 320 mm. And draw a inner circle 20 mm and give it a thickness of 10 mm now select the top uh, right plane click sketch press ctrl plus 8 now Sorry, select another rectangle type 50 mm, 25 mm, say 50 mm. Now go to extrude, select offset, enter the value. 150 click opposite direction so that it uh, draw in opposite direction extrude in opposite direction make sure you click on merge result merge result basically what it will do it will merge th these two bodies click ok now select this face click on sketch Press Ctrl plus 8, draw a circle, this radius is 14 mm, make sure the center distance from the top face of the base is 20 mm, press escape, press Ctrl, select the origin, press Ctrl and make sure you select the center of the circle click on make horizontal click ok now click on extrude cut click ok now select the top face of the base select sketch press ctrl plus 8 select center straight slot now select this line make it horizontal Select this line, select this point and make it horizontal. After that, make sure you give the dimensions. Let's say the total length is 110 mm and the thickness is 10 mm. The center distance from the center is 75 mm. Select extrude cut. Click OK. Press Ctrl plus S. Save this part as base. Click OK. After that, press Ctrl plus N. Select part. Click OK. Now Select front plane, select slot, make sure that it's 10 mm and the length is 20 mm. You can change it as per your requirement. After that, Select this top face, Ctrl plus 8, press. Now select the center point rectangle. Now draw a line. Make this 35 mm and 30 mm. Extrude it up to. Thirty mm. Select 
select the center select the face press sketch now press control plus 8 draw a circle of radius 14 mm make sure it is 20 mm away from it now press escape select the origin by pressing control and select the center of the circle click on make horizontal click ok click extrude cut click ok now select the top face click sketch press control plus 8 draw a circle of radius 10 mm oh sorry 50 mm 15 mm extrude it up to 10 mm click ok now after that select design library go to toolbox click on add in now select nsi metric select bolt screws select hex head select heavy hex bolt make it not over are you trying to make a drive part type no sorry click and drag it down here Ta click on yes click ok tick mark now select this center and sorry first click on view temporary axis select this axis after that select this axis select the bolt center axis sorry wait a minute delete it select this face select this as you can see it's missed now click on add make sure you don't click on ok button make sure you click on add after that select this face select this face click on distance click flip dimensions click ok now go to insert go to features click on combine select subtract select the main body as our current part and select bodies to combine bolt click ok delete it we have done some mistake Make sure change the diameter. That's the mistake I have done. Sorry for that.
change it to pardon me click on exit sketch as you can see our threads are made now press control plus s type as mover now click on new now the current thing i am going to make it act as our connecting rod make sure that the diameter is 15 mm exit the sketch click okay save it now press control plus n click on assembly click okay import all three parts now go to design library again move this bolt because we are going to use this bolt make sure that its size is m14 and length is 120 mm and thread length is 120 go downward make sure you select schematic else you you, uh, you can't able to see this thread click okay we just need a one part so i don't not want to select another select the mate select this face and this face click on flip mate alignment click okay select this face and this face click okay now select this face and this face click okay select this face and this face click okay now now what i am going to do is i am going to do a mechanical mate go to screw now select this face and select this face its pitch is 2 mm so type 2 and make sure you and check the reverse click okay as you can see when i move it it rotates now select this connecting rod go to mate and select this face click okay now select the stop face and here click okay okay the length of this connector node is very small so let's make it bigger now go to mates sorry select this make it float click on view temporary axis select this add line select top plane click okay select this line click on right plane click okay select this line click on top plane click okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do, do a animation so to do that click on motion studies go to add-ins select solidworks motion click okay move it upward 
click on motion analysis select motor select this part click ok now again select a motor now but this time select this part click on linear motor actuator go downward click ok now select event based motion analysis click here delay time and delay 0 seconds click on end motion select motor click linear motor click ok go to change and select the durations 5 seconds now click to add here again now time delay is 2.5 seconds now select motors select linear motor click ok select change uh, that's the situation is uh, 3 seconds sorry 2.5 let's say duration is 2 and say 2 seconds now move it downward now click on play as you can see the length of the crank is increasing ok uh, and the black line is basically the displacement length so to do that click on wire displacement trace path or select sorry select this point click ok as you can see it's it's moving upward i hope you like this video if you have any doubts and queries make sure you ask comments have a great day and please subscribe the channel